in the spotlight this morning. We're chatting with daytime drama royalty. Fans of The Young and the Restless have been watching Lauren Fenmore, played by the fabulous Tracy Bregman, and she joins us now ahead of her 40th anniversary episode. Good morning, Tracy. Congratulations. Good morning, how are you? I'm great. You know what, I have to tell you, when I heard this, I was the, the first question I wanted to ask you, did this role genuinely start out as a summer job? Yes, it did. And it I did. It, I was thinking, this is the greatest summer gig of all time. <laughs> now, when you first started the role, and obviously you've seen the evolution of it for 40 years, did you ever think that it would run this long in your wildest dreams when you started it? Never, never in my wildest dreams did I think I was even going to make it to one year, let alone 40. And uh, it's been an extraordinary run. Now, with the special episode coming up, what was it like watching the 40 years unfold for your character? Was it just unbelievable? It was pretty amazing to, to see all my hairstyles, um, all the trends, the huge shoulder pads, uh, the stories that I'd sort of forgotten about. And um, I, I think it's going to be a really fun look back for the audience, especially the ones who've been watching from the beginning and the new and the new fans of the show that will actually see how Lauren Fenmore evolved and where she came from because she was the original mean girl. She really was. She really was. And now I'd love to know this one. So now obviously you have Lauren and Michael. Was the chemistry instant for the two of you? It was instant for the two of us, but they did not play us as uh, romantic co-stars at oh. all. And in fact, uh, uh, Christian and I went to our head writer and said, we really want to do a romance together. And they said, that's a terrible idea. Absolutely not. And so Christian and I decided, okay, in every scene, we're just going to play sex. <laughs> <laughs> it was like pass the salt, sex, 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 sex. And we then went back to the head writer and went, come on. And he said, all right, I'll try it out. And then he wrote us one of the great love stories of all time. It is an amazing love story. But while I have you two, I have to mention you and Sheila, Lauren and Sheila on the show. What do you think it is right. that fans just resonate so much about that rivalry? I, you know, I... I I don't know. I think what, what Sheila does is so shocking and you wouldn't expect it. And uh, then we can't kill her. So it's, <laughs> when is she going to come back? How is she going to come back? Who is she going to come back as? We've all, you know, uh, Michelle Stafford and I have both played sort of that character. Or I played the sister. She played Sheila. Um, and, and so I think it, it's fun to kind of see what's Sheila going to do next? I love that. And tell me this, what do you love the most about playing Lauren? I'll tell you, um, it's working with the actors that I get the opportunity to play with on a daily basis. They are some of the finest actors, I think, in the business. And they are as committed today as they were when they first got the job. And to be around that kind of energy and around that kind of talent and such wonderful, loving, supportive people is um, one of the most extraordinary experiences ever. And that's why I just love to continue to play this character and to do this show. And you know, your fans are so loyal. I was telling you that my in-laws are two of your biggest fans. What makes playing Lauren too, and knowing that the fans just have been so committed over the 40 years, what, is that, what does that feel like? You know, uh, soap operas are usually multi-generational. Yeah. So every person that comes up to me will usually say to me, oh, I used to watch you with my grandma, or my mom got me involved, or my auntie got me involved. And I love that we play such an important part of people's families. You know, because that's what our show is about, family. Family. Uh, so I love that connection. Thank you so much, Tracy. Truly, congratulations. Can't wait to tune into the episode. Don't miss the special 40th anniversary episode this Wednesday at 1230 right here on WPR 12.